record. Okay, okay, let's start. Okay, good evening, Tanya. It's the day after our first um, uh, tapping for intentional rain producing and water producing in abundance in Cape Town yesterday. I, tell me the yes. response. Tell me the response you've had from people. Well, I received so many text messages saying that the floodgates is open, rain is here. Someone washed their cars for Valentine's Day with the rain, um, because that is a, a luxury that Cape Townians haven't had. And in that, such a long sorry, time. I didn't. I didn't say since then. Today, within twenty-four hours, we've had a floodgate of rain, and people have been texting and and celebrating. So I'm going to actually play a little video clip I took at four o'clock this afternoon within 24 hours of um, what I was saying, seed into Cape Town. So you tell me your take on life. The more good things will show up because that is what we're expecting. That is what we are proclaiming. That is what we are calling. Um, so yes, it's, it's wonderful. It's really wonderful. Yeah. So, um, so we, where do you, do you think that if I, you and I and others, um, keep talking about the way we value water in our lives. And I'm thinking of in another video, sharing a book called The Body's Many Cries for Water, which is a fascinating story that I read quite a few years ago about a doctor in a concentration camp in Iran who had nothing to give the people in pain but water. And that he realized that sometimes pain is a cry for water. So I could go into that in more depth. But what do you? What else do you suggest we um, we continue doing to bring um, an abundance of water into our, our lives in Cape Town and in South Africa? I think just really starting to appreciate water again for what it is. Um, in the first video, we said it is um, such a cardinal. Uh, product or cardinal substance of our lives our body consists of it um, it's even amazing to think that we consist of so so much water and still we prefer to walk uh, we're supposed to swim <laughs> but uh, it's an amazing amazing product and we need it in our lives so the moment we start to nurture and the moment we start to appreciate it um I, I think you remember in my first book I wrote of that Dr. Um, Animoto, uh, that experiment that he did with the water crystals. Uh, the emotions that they spoke to the water was actually, it caused it to be frozen in certain forms. So that the water that got hatred and the water that got uh, disgust were totally uh, disformed. Um, when they looked under the microscope, the, the water crystals. And if people start to realize we are made of water and water is surrounding us, and we're actually supposed to be one with each other, one with the water, uh, I think it will be a whole different story. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Tanya. We're going to keep it short tonight. But it's so lovely to share this moment um, and to... Because sometimes it's uh, it's lovely that the to feel there's a group of people, as uh, you know, wanting the same thing that can share it with each other. And in that sense, Facebook gives us that option of just saying, "Wow, you know, um, we you know there there are many things we can uh, use Facebook for, but right now it's the water uh, water story that I'm." bringing to the fore in my life. So thank you and good night. You have a great, uh, great night and we'll speak again soon. <laughs> thank you, Carol. And thank you for initiating this process and this project. It's amazing. It's really amazing. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you, my darling. Bye. Bye.